who I'm gonna take on these brand trips or stuff like that. Girl, my my man, <laughs> my man, my man, my man. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's your Ebony Lux back again with another video. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ebony Lux. I'm a beauty, fashion, lifestyle content creator. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, join the family, join the squad. And if you're not new, what to do, baby? Boo. So, period. So, this video is gonna be a quick little get ready with me i really just um jumped out the bed and decided to make this video because your girl got another pr package mm. your girl got another freaking pr package from the family over at urban decay and so i worry i'm ready to play my makeup i'm ready to plan these products and then as y'all know from my um what was it I think it was my maintenance vlog that I went to Ulta for the first time and I did get some um, e.l.f. products from Ulta. Um, I don't really I don't really use e.l.f. products, so I'm really, really excited about that. I want to give it a shot, see how it, you know, works out with my skin. So, if you're interested, keep it locked, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay, so first, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all um, what uh, is in this box. Um, like I said, Urban Decay just sent me another PR package. So excited. Let's see what we got. Ooh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, okay. Got our little note again. Okay, so this is what it's giving yes so first things first we have this urban decay eyeshadow primer potion Ooh, i'm excited to use that so we have this um i hope y'all saw it good urban decay primer potion then coming up we have this Vice Lip Balm Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color Instant Shine at All Day Intensity. Is this the color? Ooh, cough stop. Ooh. This, this is going to eat. Is, is it upside down? Yes. This is going to eat. This is going to eat. And it's in the color cuffed up. Baby. This is going to eat. This is going to eat. Okay, and then we have we have a uh 24-7 glide on lit eye pencil. This joint is waterproof and long lasting. You hear me? And I think the color on this is freak. I think the color on this is freak. And then we have another one. Oh, I think they sent me two of the same color. But it's the same thing. I think it's two of the same color. Very cute. And then, baby, the one and only. We got the long-lasting all-nighter setting spray. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite setting spray. My bad, y'all. Anyway, like I was saying, I just got this e.l.f. setting spray, and the way I'm set up, I'm just not going to have two setting sprays. Like, this is going to last a long time, but it's going to be even longer now because I'm going to just start using this one. <laughs> I'm going to just start using this one because this is my favorite setting spray. I don't understand. So, yes. So, let's first off. First off, let me this robe off. I'm hot. I'm hot, honey. Hold on. All right. Anyway, y'all. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let me just put a little bit on my lip real quick. Okay. I'll just be fucking so dry. Oh! My lips be so dry. Um, damn. Anyway. So, 
Let's chit chat while we do our makeup. Let's talk. Let's see what is going on with you guys. Let me see. What's been going on with me? Ain't nothing really been going on with me. Like, <laughs> nothing major. Um, I'm still struggling with my um consistency, y'all. And by the way, I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. That's what I'm using. Um, but like I said, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with my consistency because I think, I think I'm struggling because in my mind, I want to be a lot further in my content creator journey than what I am. Cause it's really just because I don't have any patience. I don't have no type of, um, patience and like when I'm set my mind on something and I want it. I want that shit right now. Um, so, I think that's like um, my number one, like, um, what do you call it? I don't like discouraging factor or like, um, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's the thing that just get me down. And it's, it's unmotivating. There you go. It uh, motivates me to want to even make my content because now I'm feeling like what am I doing it for? So I do have to constantly remind myself like you're not doing it for the followers. You're doing it because it's something you genuinely love doing. You genuinely love to make your videos, make your content. So girl, why not just keep doing it? Just keep doing it. So that's where I'm at right now. And you know, I'm still trying to get my following up everywhere. And my following on TikTok is almost at 13,000, but they're there because I went viral off of a video that I did with Navy. I'll put that there. Yeah. So it's a video that I did with Navy where her and Nathan cut her hair. So that's the video. And I'm just sitting here, y'all, because I'm letting this primer marinate my skin real quick. But um, yeah, so I went viral off a video with Navy for her cutting her hair. And that video went viral and got me all those followers on TikTok. But the reality of it is, even though I have all those followers on TikTok, like it really means nothing because they're not my target audience. So literally none of those people engage with my content. Like, yeah, they like that video. Okay, shits and giggles. But when it's like, when I'm doing my real shit, when I'm doing a makeup tutorial, when I'm doing a wig review, when I'm doing a wig tutorial, when I'm doing an Amazon haul, when I'm doing to get ready with me, like, they don't be fucking with it. Like, I might get, I get anywhere, like, some uh, of my TikToks will get, like, 100 likes. Some of them get 30 likes. Some of them get 10 likes. Some get 3 likes. And it's like, but you got almost 13,000 followers. How the fuck? The math ain't mathing. So, that's another thing that's kind of, like, discouraging. Because, it's like, I really want to tell people, get the fuck out of here. Because y'all not, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not even here for the shit that I'm doing, for real. Like, y'all, that was just some, I was just flustered in a moment and made a video. So, that's how that come into play. But it's like, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep my focus and, you know, not get... You know, I'm trying not to get discouraged, y'all, basically. And I'm trying to keep going. Because I feel like, shit, if ain't nobody going to be looking at my content, I might as well just sit at home and watch TV all day. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm trying not to let it, I'm trying not to let it keep me down, but... It does get sad some days. Some days I'm really, really sad. Um, but I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not giving up. Ooh, is that my color? Yep. Ooh, it looks good on the camera. Hold on. Right here is looking. Hold on, let me just zoom in. Um. So yeah. Anyway. So yeah. And when I got all those um followers and stuff, this is not. Am I tripping? Maybe I got a little oxidized or something. Um, but yeah, so I did start getting like PR. I did start reaching out to brands and everything when I did get that little motion on TikTok. And I got some good responses. Like I said, I got them a couple PR lists. Urban Cash, you can see. Got on the PR list. And so I just got to say, you know, I made it this far. So just don't keep, don't give up. Just keep swimming, girl. Just keep swimming, honey. 
and hopefully you know this is my year this is gonna be the year of breakthrough this is gonna be the year of change this is gonna be the year of receiving my manifestation my my manifestation is coming to fruition y'all y'all are you sick this goddamn this damn elf flawless satin foundation honey this thing good this thing good this thing too good this thing is smooth like butter i like this oh yeah i like this Um, and yeah, like I was saying, this is my year. I'm really working on my consistency really, really hard, but I don't know if any other girls, um, can relate, but it's like, I be so lazy sometimes and I literally don't know why. Like, oh, it's just, oh, that's like one characteristic trait about myself that I just really like oh I cannot stand it I cannot stand it because I really be wanting to get up and do something but it's like I don't know I don't be having the energy or I be tired or I just don't fucking get up and do it and it's like uh that shit is so fucking irritating but i'm working on that with myself too like i'm really i'm working on a lot of things within myself because i feel like um a part of me manifesting my dreams is i have to start living life like i am that girl and so that means don't sit in the fucking bed all day get up do something get out you know what i mean so that's what i'm working on um now and now i'm gonna go in with this urban decay Quickie Concealer in 50 WY. Y'all see that? I'm gonna go with this Urban Quickie Concealer. But yeah, that's where I'm at on this content creator journey. And I do wanna still be giving out like, you know, tips and tricks on Becoming a content creator. I do still want to make more content on that. I just got to figure out what that is. But that content on my channel honestly did not do that well. So it's like, mm. But I still want to make it. So I guess I will because, like I said, I, I have to stop concerning myself so much with the numbers. And um, just really focus on the reason that I started doing this in the first place. Like, I started doing this because I like it in the first place. So... I just have to keep that focus in mind, I think. Keep that in mind and, you know, I think I'll be doing all right. All right. Um, what else? So my goals this year, as far as um, being a content creator goes, I want to, for one, I want to grow my YouTube channel. I want to have a, by the end of the year, I want to have a solid um, following that really is here for me. They fuck with me. They like me. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Got to be able to snatch this face though, honey. Y'all get into it. I feel like y'all can't even see. Y'all can't even see what's really good. Y'all can't even see what's really good right now. Should I move y'all? I don't want to move y'all. Let me see if I try this. But this is basically just where I'm putting my um contour at. But anyway, like I said, yeah, basically my goal is by the end of this year, um, I want to have my following up. I want to have a strong, supportive, um, following, following me. Um, I want to start getting invited to the events, the like networking events and stuff in Atlanta. I want to start going to some 
excuse me, some, um, you know, cool little, cute little networking events in Atlanta. I want to start meeting more um, like-minded like women, meaning like women who are also working towards becoming an influencer or social media, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just want to make more influencer friends, people who are interested in the things that I like, people who want to do the things that I want to do. Um, and that's basically it as far as content creation. I, ooh, let me tell y'all too. I literally cannot wait. When I tell you I cannot wait to go on my first brand trip, I cannot wait to be invited to go on my first brand trip. I'm going to be so excited. Y'all don't even know. Like, that shit got me so hyped to where I'm, like, it'll be days that, you know, obviously I won't be doing nothing in the house chilling and I'll just start like visualizing like a girl who the fuck are you going to take on your first brand trip who who are you like who are, like who would I take or would I go by myself or like I'll be thinking about like what is my reaction going to be when I first um like go like as far as like getting on the plane seeing wherever they're gonna be having a staying at um just everything like what type of food what location i'm gonna be at like am i gonna need a passport am i gonna need a passport no cap though i would really like okay my top places i would want to go to is new york city because as y'all know, I'm from New York, but I'm not from the city. I'm from Rochester, New York. So that's like, I think it's like eight hours away from um, the city. So I really want to go to New York because I want to experience that. I want to see what type of like, you know, activities and stuff they would have for us to do. So I want to go to New York City. Um, where else? Is there? Oh, I want to go to California. California, it don't matter where you take me in California, baby. I want to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ready to go. Um, where else? I want to go to Bali and then a few years ago, cause I don't, if you guys are keeping up with like this type of stuff, they really haven't done no brand trips in a long time. They really just started doing the brand trips again. Like if you check out Aaliyah's face or um, Monet, what's her name, Monet McMichael? I think that's her name. Or um, uh, uh, Shadi Sin on TikTok. Like they've been going on brand trips and stuff. Oh, and Talitha Jane. Don't forget about our girl Talitha Jane. Um, they've been going on branches recently that I've seen. So I'm like, oh, they opening it back up. But a couple years ago, um, uh, my homegirl, I be calling all my favorite influencers, my homegirl, my homegirl, Tweet Lee, um, make sure you subscribe to her channel. What I'm looking for? Contour. Um, I mean, highlight, but yeah, contour too. Um, is this it? Um, is this it? I don't know. But, um. What was I saying? Oh, Twee Lee. Baby, they took her to Africa. They took Twee to Africa. I want to say she was in like Kenya. The fucking room was amazing or villa, whatever it was. It was amazing. It was open. Yo, she was waking up. It was like animals outside. Like I want to do that. Like that is like that shit. Girl, that shit going to have me like ready to cry ready to cry because like i said this is what i've been working towards this is what i've been really trying to do and i'm trying to make it happen for myself and my family for my kids for my man like i just can't wait for the day that i tell junior like fuck that job quit that shit. we got this shit. you know what i'm saying and we're comfortable because right now like you know i don't work junior works and he works hard, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a, you know, he's a man. So he feels like, you know, of course he got to take care of all his kids. He does not just have a child with me. He has three other kids. Uh, and he want to take care of his motherfucking kids. Them his kids. He don't want nobody else stepping in and do his job. And I respect that shit to the, to the fullest. So, you know, I because because junior has held me down so long and because junior has been with me through my darkest 
darkest, darkest, darkest time. Like never even imagined I would go through something that I, like that that I went through. Um, Junior held, held shit down. He really, really did. And he did not have to because in that dark space, in that dark time that I was in, y'all, I was a bitch. I was so, I was just mean. I was angry and I was hurt. And when I say my nigga loved me through it all, my nigga loved me through it all, honey. He he helped me. He helped me the best he could. He helped me with what, you know, he knew and what he knew how to do. Um, and he was out, like, overall, he was just really there for me. Even though I was pushing him away, he pushed back even harder. And he just, he always remained there for me. And, like, like I... I, that I feel like that would be my ultimate repayment back to him is to be like, hey, babe, I got us. Don't even worry about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Quit your job. Our bills taken care of. We're financially free. We can go on vacations. We can take the kids wherever we want to go. That would be my ultimate repayment back to him just to show him like, you know, nigga, you help shit down because your girl was... Let me tell y'all, I was no good. I was no good for probably like almost two years, honey. No freaking good. Um. So yeah. So I be looking forward to those things because y'all know, even though I be saying like who I'm gonna take on these brand trips or stuff like that, girl, my nigga, my man, <laughs> my man, my man, my man. That's who the fuck going. But I do, you know, I understand, like, it'll be, it'll probably be times that, um, you know, he probably won't be able to go. So, in those instances, like, okay, girl, who going? You going by yourself or who going? And then, um, I'm really appreciative of him because he's not, like, an insecure man. He's not a jealous man. Um, and I was just recently, um, I was just on live with Ivy, y'all. If y'all haven't checked out Ivy's live, go check it out. Her most recent live. Oh God, them kids in there fucking shit up. Um, but Ivy, Ivy Dear, um, her first, her most recent live or whatever, where she was talking about the things that she had been going through um, in her influencer journey. And it was just related to her man not being, I would say not being fully supportive. He was very insecure. He held her back. And it's so, it was really so sad for me because it's like, there's so many opportunities you get with a job like this. And Ivy had to miss out on those things because, you know, she was trying to be a good wife to her husband. Which ended up, they not even fucking really married. That turns out, that turned out they not even fucking, um, really married, which I'm sure was like a relief for her because Shorty was over there just footing the bill for an ungrateful ass nigga who was just shit, spending her fucking money, shit. Spending her money, doing her wrong, cheating on her all type of shit. Cheating on her while she's sick. Cheating on her child. I'm so glad I never had no relationship like that. I'm so glad I never had no type of relationship where it was abusive, whether it was physical, verbal, none of that. I've never been in a situation like that. So I'm really, really grateful. And I feel like God, God, um, God gives you what you can handle. And I think that God knew I can't handle that. Let me turn this right back on. Okay, you guys, I had to go get my bestie because she was crying. But anyway, I'm just setting some, um, uh-oh, 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 no, no. Okay, mommy go. Y'all, I gotta put her to sleep. So let's take a pause because my baby need a nap and then we'll be right back. But what I was just doing was putting my Laura, Laura Mercier translucent honey on all my highlighted areas so they don't crease while I'm, you know being a mother you know hold on Pooh. i'm finna put you tonight night i'm finna let that baby go tonight night what hmm oh that one that one okay look it's all right y'all see i'm just mom hey okay oh no mom hey okay okay y'all let me go put this baby down for a nap 
Okay, y'all, poo poo. She's sleep. But anyway, like I was saying, I feel like God, um, I feel like God gives you what you can handle. And I'm I'm not I can handle a lot of shit. I can handle a lot of shit. I will say that. But something like that. Play on my heart. Play on my feelings. No, I don't think I can handle that. I don't think I, I'm I would be one of them bitches on goddamn Netflix series explaining to y'all why I killed this nigga and I ain't even kill this nigga. So yeah. It still sucks that Ivy had to go through that. Like I still like wish she didn't have to go through that because i love ivy and you could see you can see like hold on um you can see like from her content that ivy makes um she is like just a a sweet girl like she just seemed like the sweetest girl you would ever meet But, you know, time and time again, it has been shown to us that those are the type of people in this world, unfortunately, that get taken advantage of. And it fucking sucks. Because, like I said, you could tell when somebody is, like, a sweet person naturally. Like, you know, you can tell those things. And you can, t you can definitely see that um, with Ivy. And so, like I said, it just sucks she went through that. Like, I feel like she ended up missing out on a lot. Like, she would say, like, she shut got a Fenty deal. A Fenty deal. And had to, like, basically turn them down, I guess. I think she did a couple little, um, I think she did a couple videos for them. But it was literally, like, a couple. And so, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful I don't have to go through you know, dealing with a man, you know, like that in my life, feeling like I gotta, I'm not gonna be able to do everything that I wanna do as a content creator because I got this man in the back of me making me feel shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just shitty. Just, just go watch the live. It's really good. Go watch the live. Make sure you subscribe and support my girl Ivy Deer. Um. Anyway, yeah. Oh, I put on some um. I put on some Sun Bath Bake Bronzer in the color Just Right. That's what I was just putting on. Okay. But anyway, yeah. I'm just gonna um like I said, I'm this this is the life that I'm manifesting. This is the life that I want. This is the life that I truly see for myself. I feel like something is still Oh, I gotta get my filming set up. Um, like, I know if y'all been watching my videos and stuff, you'll see like, I'm literally like, I'll be in a different spot all the time. And so I just wanna have like the perfect shit ink thing, you know? Um, anyways, where is that one brush I'm looking for? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself. Show yourself. Okay. Um. Anyway, so like I said, I'm looking forward to brain trips. I uh, hopefully my baby daddy gonna be able to go to every single one with me, cause that's who I want. You know, that's who I want to be there with. Um, what else am I looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to, um, like making friends. Like I know, I feel like every time I say that out loud, cause as being like a girl in my thirties, I feel like when I say out loud, like I want to make friends, I feel like that should be sounding like weird, you know? Like, I feel like it sounds weird because I'm in my thirties and I don't have any friends. Um, and I do, I really want friends, like I said, I really want people in my life that are just interested in the same things that I'm interested in, want to do the same things that I want to do, because one thing about it, I hate, 
Like it really irks my nerves when, like say I'm going out with people or whatever and I done did my makeup, obviously. I'm dressed, obviously. And I want to take a picture. But of course, when I take a picture, I'm not like your average, hey, everybody come together, smile, take a picture of cheese, and that's it. No, I got to get the shot, baby. I got to get the shot. So I might need to take, I might need to take like maybe 20, 25 minutes to get my pictures in and then I'll be wrecked. I cannot stand when I'm out with somebody and I'm trying to take my pictures and they be like, I can feel that they're irritated. I can see that you're irritated. I can see you don't want to be here. Get the fuck away from me. <clears throat> I don't want your fucking bad vibes. I'm like, I'm having fun. When I be taking my pictures, I be having a good time. And you're ruining it. So just go. Like, that's why I'd rather, I'd rather do shit by myself because don't irritate me. Don't irritate me. I don't like that. So, like I said, I just want to be, I want to have more fr female friends that are just interested in the things that I'm interested in. Like, if we go to brunch, it's, like, already known, like, we're going to take our pictures. You know? Or if I'm vlogging, it's already known, like, we vlogging. You know? Just I just want to be around people who are doing the same shit I'm doing so that it's not weird. It's not funny. Y'all would get me. Y'all, like, you know? girls that the girls that get it get it basically so i'm definitely looking forward to that looking forward to like you know being like hey julia we're going on the girls trip you gonna hold the kids down you know just stuff like that um what else ciao I'm looking forward to everything, everything, everything. Like, um, there's so many other things that I want to do. Like, I want to go, um, Monet, she just went on Hot Ones. I want to go on Hot Ones so bad. I want to see if I could do it. I want to see if I could get all the way to the last dab, child. I want to see. Because I love spicy food. I love spicy food. Like, hot sauce, yeah. I put that shit on everything. Um... So I definitely want to see can I make it. I want to go on um like I want to go on like podcasts. I want to be interviewed for podcasts for like you know this influencer influencery type stuff. Um, what else? I I want to get like cool brand trips that incorporate my kids. You know, like I want to get like you know maybe if I have like a brand trip, which I haven't really seen done like brand trips that include kids like for the kids i haven't really seen that so if that's something that you know about leave it in the comments below because i would love to look it up and if you've seen any videos on people bringing their kids with brand trips leave it in the comments below because i want to see girl i want to see because i want to see is that a, like is that a thing can i do that but yeah that's something i would love to do like if they like you know maybe a theme park just something for the kids that i'll be able to like bring my kids on too. Like, I think that'll be really fun. Uh, what else? I can't wait to get more PR packages. I, I That shit is just like insane to me. Like a company would be like, hey, we have all this new stuff and we want to send it to you for you to try. And they tell you like, they be like, you don't have to post about it. We just want you to try it out. See if you like it. Da, da, da. Which really they do want you to post about it in my mind. Because I know they feel like they have a good quality product. So, of course, they know as a beauty influencer, if it's a good quality product, you're a beauty influencer, you're going to use it. Blah. So, whatever. But I still like it. Um, I still like it. Um, I really want to get on... Um, I really would like to get on Juvia's Place PR package list. I don't look into that. I gotta look into that and see the details. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know when you're doing eyebrows, you gotta be focused. Um, but yes, I need to also get a. Um, I need to also get a. What do you call it? I need to get a PO box. Um, 
Because I did see, I saw somebody on TikTok and she was saying like, um, like when you're receiving PR packages or whatever, if a brand wants to send you anything or if anybody wants to send you anything, you need to have a PR box. Don't let them send it to your, right up to your address, to your door. So... I really don't know what the precautions are with that, but it sounds like it's something I should do. And it sounds like it's a lot safer. So, yeah, I think I do want to um, do that. <laughs> Get a P.O. box. So, I'll do that. Like, as y'all know, like, I'm in the process of purchasing a car. Well, my daddy is purchasing. Well, I got my daddy the money, and my daddy is looking for the car for me. So yes, I'm in the process of getting a car. So once I get a car, I feel like that's when I will um, get a P.O. box. I feel like I should spray a little setting spray real quick. I'm that Urban Decay all night, baby. Ah, oh, so glad I got this. I really, really wanted this, y'all. I really wanted this NPR. So happy. It just really made me feel like, ooh, you got a product NPR that you really love. Oh. I just really love it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, it's new. Gotta pump it up. Okay. Okay. So that's on. I'm gonna use a little card they gave me as a fan real quick. I don't know where mine is. Mm -hmm. And y'all, I'm excited for Junior to like really see my content creator stuff pay off. Like I, I cannot wait for the day that I be like, Look at the account, Julia. Look at the account. And that nigga be, that nigga eyes be like, Ooh, what? You got that from what? You got that from how? Like, I, I, y'all. I can't wait. Cause I see, I see everything happening for me. Like, I see as long as I, as, if I'm, if I remain consistent and I get myself on a schedule, cause right now, my schedule is, I'm gonna go on with this blush real quick. Right now, what I call myself, my little bootleg schedule is my hands on my Yeah. My little bootleg schedule is on during the week, like weekdays, I spend oh yeah, that's good. I spend my weekdays, um Wow, that messed up. I do <laughs> I spend my weekdays um editing. So editing TikToks, editing vlogs. Whatever I gotta edit, I do that on the weekdays. And the weekends is for filming. So the weekends is when I'm batch filming. The weekends is when I'm filming hella different things at once to my um, hard drive. That way during the week, I ain't gotta worry about filming. I'm just sitting in my bed um, editing and posting. Even with my pictures. Child, y'all might say, I could post a picture on Instagram right now. I don't look like whatever I'm gonna post. So, you know, that's that with that. But, um, yeah. That's basically what the schedule is now. I don't have a, um, I do not have a upload schedule. I literally, the way I do it is, I upload when I'm done editing the video. That's when I'll upload it. So I feel like once I once my channel, once the community on my channel is built up higher, and I'm just going there with my bronzer over my eyelids. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like once my community is built up, then I'll be able to ask them like, hey, what days do y'all want to see me posting? Um, what that like what days are y'all here for because for me shit i'll post every day if i can if i got something to post i'll post it um so that's that mm. what else i don't know i'm just excited to see you know where this journey is gonna take me I'm 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 big on um like learning new things too. So I'm really excited to see like the new things that I learn, the new people, different type of you know, there's different type of people all across the world and there's so many different type of content creators 
and there's so many different there's so many different ways um to create content and just because you make content for one thing somebody else's focus may be somewhere else so i still i saw on a lot of um brand trips that some of the girls were not like in my mind i always thought like everybody was on youtube everybody's not on youtube so some of the content creators are like mainly focused on instagram like their main following is instagram and some of them, their main following is tiktok and then you do have the girls who their main following is youtube for me personally i want my main um I want my main following to be here on YouTube. That's just my preference. Where are my lashes? Um, not those. Um, but yes, I feel like I want my main audience to be on YouTube because I feel like it's just more growth in YouTube. You get more opportunities on um, YouTube. And this is just kind of like home. Like this is where I started off at. Um, so I feel like this is just where it's at. Like this is home. This is the place to be. So, and I feel like even, I feel like if all the other apps like that, like y'all see everything going on with TikTok right now with the TikTok ban and they're trying to get it banned. Like what if that does happen? Like all those creators on TikTok, unfortunately, there is going to be all for nothing. Well, not all for nothing, but it's like if you weren't getting your following to transfer over to your other platforms like when i tell you it's hard to grow it's hard to grow like and i'm not even like where i want to be at yet i'm not even I'm, I'm not even close i'm on i'm literally like just the surface like you know what i'm saying like i only have i got what 12 almost 13k on tiktok i got um what i have on youtube I don't know. May I think I what do I have on YouTube? I don't know what I have on YouTube. I think I might have like almost twelve hundred subscribers on YouTube, and then about the same on Instagram as well. So, you know, like I said, I'm just on the surface. I'm ready for my shit to take off. I'm ready for my shit to go. Ready for my shit to, yeah, you know I mean, shank the dink, make it do what it do, baby boom. So yeah, so I'm just like, that's that's where I'm at. Now, let me go get these lash glue, y'all, so I can put these lashes on, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, um, yeah, let me put these lashes on. And y'all, I did my lashes the other day to go to a birthday party. I did my whole makeup, y'all. Them lashes were so ugly. Them lashes were so old. I should have been ashamed of my fucking self. I should have been ashamed of myself, y'all. Like, real shit. Because, um... Girl, I ended up using some lashes that I had already used before. I'm going in with these lashes. These are, um... These are from Amazon. They're... Y'all can't see shit. These are from Amazon. They are linked in my Amazon storefront. The link will be in the description the description bar. But yes, these are on my Amazon storefront. They're so pretty. Can you see them? Like, can y'all see the curl? I don't know. But yeah, they're so fucking pretty. But um, yeah, them lashes I had on the other day, honey, on Sunday, them wasn't it. They was oh, I should have literally, I should have just came over here and got a um new pair from this, but. My ass was being lazy and I was running late also. So those two factors had me fucked up in the game. Like it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible by no means, but I could definitely tell that, um, that that wasn't it, sweetie. That wasn't it. Let me put a little of uh, mascara on. I'm using the um, Tarte uh, Lash Treat Mascara. I always put my eye. Um, that's how you know you've been doing your makeup for the longest time. When you poke yourself in the eye and don't even flinch, don't even move. Um, but yeah. Anyway, 
I feel like I told y'all my goals for 2023. Like I said, by the end of the 2023, I plan on having a bigger, um, su supportive, that's the main thing, support, um, supportive uh, following. Because like I said, I don't want to have just like how I am on TikTok where I got all them followers on TikTok, but don't nobody engage with my shit because y'all here for the wrong reason. Um, so on YouTube, I want to have a strong, supportive following who are all here for the right reason. Y'all here, you know, for beauty, fashion, lifestyle content, not that other shit. Um, oh, can y'all see? I'm just putting this damn last one. Um, what else? I want to have more influencer friends i want to start networking more oh i do have to get my wardrobe up too like i really like i don't child i don't think i know how to dress for real i just i'm very basic i'm very basic and simple like that's my style but i want to like i i like other shit it's just when it comes to like putting that shit together child I don't think I just, I don't know. I just, that's not my thing. But I'm gonna make it my thing because I like it. So I just need to, I feel like practice makes perfect. Just figure out my style, figure out what I like and go from there. So yes, I'm just gonna be adding to my wardrobe, removing things from my wardrobe. I'm removing all the base. Well, you still need bases, but like my regular shit, a lot of that shit is getting, Throw the fuck out. Because I have a lot of shit in there that I don't even wear. That is just old. That's just not my style anymore. So, yeah. I'm going to be getting rid of all that shit. And, um, we're going to be upgrading this lifestyle. Because I'm definitely ready. I want to, I also, y'all, I want to get a, um, I want to get a tarot reading done, like, for myself. Like, girl, I'll be on TikTok, and, honey, them tarot readings be having me up all damn night telling me that my time is motherfucking now, honey. So, I want to go get, um, I want to get a reading done personally for myself, for me only, and I just want to see what it said to me. Um, I feel like I, I thought it could have helped me all out. And I'm just interested to know. I'm a very curious person. So I be wanting to know everything. I want to know everything about everything. The only thing is, I'm still lazy. So I don't want to do the research myself. But if you're talking, I'm going to listen. And if you got facts, I'm going to listen to those too. So, yeah. But I'm very curious. I like to know everything about everything. Especially if it's interesting. I'll be looking at so much different shit on a regular basis. Let me put these lashes on. I definitely can't talk about these lashes on. Hold on. How are y'all? The lashes is on. Okay. Let me, I feel like real quick, I need to just smooth, smooth that out. But yeah, these products I don't use today, honey, got me. All the way together. Let me do these lips. Let me do these lips. Not you. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna use my MAC lip pencil and cork, and I'm gonna line these lips, honey. I think I want my lips now, y'all. I'll, I'll be going back and forth with that shit. Yeah, but I do think that. It's not necessarily that I want them done, but I've seen like, um, here in Atlanta, they have a place where they do facial balancing. So they look at your face and they tell you what you need. 
because I'm one of them people who I don't see myself how the world sees me. I think it's called body dysmorphia or something like that, but I don't see what y'all see. I don't be seeing it. And so, um, I want to go somewhere where I'm going to be like, yeah, I want my lips done. I want them juicy and big. And I want them to be like, yeah, you don't need that. Or, okay, you do need that, but not so much. Or whatever. I just want to, you know, I just don't want to be out here looking crazy. I definitely think that with me choosing this as a career path, definitely has something to do with me being like, I don't think I'm insecure. Because I feel like when you insecure, it's like you don't like that. Like, you got to, got to, got to fix that. Whatever the thing is, you got to fix it. I don't necessarily feel like that. Like like I said, some days I'll be like, yeah, I want my lips done. Some days I'll be like, I'm not getting my fucking lips done. I'm not going to fuck my face up. Um, My brain just went blank. Um, And so I don't feel like it's insecurity because I'm not, like, real stressed about it. But I do, like I said, I feel like because with me becoming this is my career path, it kind of makes me like look at like I'm kind of like analyzing myself way more. So I'm using this Urban Decay. Um, what was it? The Urban Decay Lip Bond Vice Lip Bond Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color, and I'm using the color Cuffed Up. Baby, they knew me in packaging, honey. Do you see the packaging on this? Are you getting this? Because the packaging is A1. The packaging is A1, honey. So, yes. I'm so excited to use this. I'm starting to look at my face. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we go. Already. Already! I'm finna use it every day. I'm finna use it every day. Hold on. Girl. If you true to this and you're not new to this, you already know I have such an obsessive personality. So I'm going to be wearing this every day. This is going to be my new lip combo. New lip combo every single day. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Hold up. So fucking pretty. Oh my God. This, oh, oh, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna go over with a gloss. Hold up, hold up, baby. We ain't done, we ain't done. Mm. That is so pretty. Baby. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so where my gloss. Where's the gloss? Where the gloss? With gloss. Hold on, y'all. Let me find the gloss. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this. Um Sophia and Mabel lip gloss and the color is beach please this is a tinted lip oil mm. Mm. yeah i love this I love these. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here's the face. Here's the face. Let me go get my hair together. And then we'll be back for the end of this video. Cheese. I'd rather be smoking guys this is the final look this is just like an everyday out and about 
type of look um i just went ahead and threw i was real lazy with it i threw two curls in front and two little curls right there just to make it look a little bit more put together but yes this is the hair this is the face honey this this urban decay um what is it lip on oh baby this ain't going nowhere i'm gonna see what other colors they got but i'm really just a pink girl so i'm gonna just get it right up on the pinks but yes i think this came out so good um i know this is gonna last all day i gotta make another video today so i know this is gonna last because i use my all-nighter period urban decay did not come to play period urban decay did not come to freaking play and thanks so much to the whole urban decay team thank you so much for adding me to your pr list i'm super super grateful um you guys let me know what you think of this look let me know if this is like an everyday look for you or is this, is this like a glam look for you drop it in the comments below like i always say if you don't made it to the end i know you subscribe i know you subscribe stop playing with me stop playing with me okay um but anyway that's the end of this video make sure you like comment subscribe leave your girl let, let me know leave it up in the comments let's chop it up let's talk i respond to all of my comments Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Ebonique Lux. Everything Ebonique Lux. And I will see you guys in the next video.